Hi, Stephen Smith here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. Today we're talking about authority, the authority of the believer. You're more than welcome to join us at Friendship Church today, where we're going to be discussing this in detail. In fact, this is the fifth week that we've been doing this study. We'll have a little video from Jesse Duplantis, and then we'll discuss the different things that he talks about as far as our authority goes. It's a little bit of a different approach. Of course, it's funny, but it's also something that enables us to be able to hear from the, word, from the Lord himself and what he says about what our authority is. We have a definition of authority from the centurion who approached Jesus and asked him to heal his servant. He said, for I am also a man placed under authority. Having soldiers underneath me, I say to one, go, and he goes, and I say to another, come, and he comes. And to the servant, do this, and he does it. If we know that this is what our definition of authority is, then we can go out and we can actually accomplish the things that God wants us to do in the authority that he's blessed us with. Mark 11.23 tells us, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that these things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. This is an important and critical verse in relationship to our authority because it's telling us to use the words that we speak, to go out and to say the things that God wants us to say. And even the things that we want to see happen in our lives, we need to take the authority that we need to go out and take it. Jesus continues in Mark eleven twenty four and says, Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So if we're praying out loud, if we're praying and speaking these words, we can believe that we have the authority to be able to do those things. The Spirit of God helps us to understand these things in all that we do. John 16, 13 tells us, however, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you the things to come. What this tells us is, is that based off of Mark 11, 23 and 24, the Spirit of God has authority to be able to speak the things that God says. And what does he do? He speaks them to us. And we, we are expected to speak these things into the things in our lives. So if we can take the authority that Christ himself has set aside for us and helps us to see this, then our authority is there that for, or therefore that much more successful. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5 tells us, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty for pulling down strongholds. We cast down arguments into every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing everything into captivity, into the obedience of Christ. So if we can do these things through the words that we speak and the words that we say, then why not start saying the things that God has put into his word that will change the way that you look at things? Hebrews 12, 2 said, tells us to do this by fixing our eyes on Christ, the author and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand, at the right hand of the throne of God. We can see that here Christ himself is in authority at the right hand of Christ, and if we fix our eyes on him, then we can't help but succeed. Look at some of these promises that we have. Psalms 30, 37, 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 34, 10. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Psalms 107.9, For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Psalms 55.22, Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. These are all things that we can see that if we rely on God, then our authority in Christ Jesus will enable us to be able to be successful in everything that we set our hand to. So why not go out and start applying your authority today? Learn a little bit more about this by joining us today at 10 o'clock at Friendship Church. Well, God bless you, and I hope to see you there.